Deanne from Forest Sons Homestead here and um, I wanted to just tell you a little bit about this little gadget that I have. It's called an Inkbird. Um, the model number is IBS-TH2 um, and this little handy device, so first off we're in my seating house and this is a little tiny greenhouse that my husband built on the south side of our tiny cabin um, so that I can start seeds in and you can see some of my seeds behind me. Um, so in order for us to be able to know when it's safe to put plants in here, what the temperatures are at night and stuff, we needed a thermometer, a thermometer to tell us um, exactly that. Um, and you could just put in a basic thermometer, which we have, um, so it tells us our Celsius and our Fahrenheit. But the beauty thing about this Inkbird is that it's Bluetooth, and it gives me a minimum and a maximum. It gives us our average temperature days. It tells me, uh, I can look back two weeks from now, um, So it and, it and it tells me hour by hour. So I can see what is the coldest time in my seeding house so that I know when my seedlings shouldn't be in here or if I have to heat the space at all. Um, so this device has just been, um, I'm not able to use it to the full extent of its capabilities just because we don't have like a wood stove in here. We don't have the ventilation. So I'm not able to completely control my temperature and my humidity, but it is, it's a great starting point. Um, so yeah, it was super easy to load. I just, uh, turned on my location, my Bluetooth and it automatically registered and it, and I just plugged in, I just, um, added this room. You know, you can get these things for like your kids' bedrooms, for wine cellars, for root cellars, all sorts. And it tells you, um, the humidity, humidity and the temperature, whether it be in Celsius or in Fahrenheit, um, and it gives you a month to month and a week by week and day to day and an hourly breakdown. With this little device, um, you know, I wake up on any given day and um, I would find out that between four and six o'clock in the morning was when my coldest time and it was dropping below zero. Um, so I wasn't keeping my plants in here overnight, but I was keeping them in here till quite late in the evening um, because it did take quite a, quite a bit for the heat to actually escape this space. Um, I think this Inkbird, I can't really remember without actually looking at my order, it was between the $20 to $30 mark. Um, I did have to purchase it through Amazon and I'll leave the link down in my comments. So if you're interested, if you use my link, I do get a small kickback, which is really awesome. Helps our family out. Um, but yeah, I think it's, I think it's an absolutely great, great device. Um, with all the information, it told me when the hottest time, um, the when the hottest bracket bracket of time was in here so i was able to open a door um know if i had to ventilate or actually move seedlings out because it would get too hot um and it also told me my cold period so again i knew when to take my seedlings out um it tells me the humidity but it hasn't hasn't gotten too humid in here yet once once we start getting really warm days it will start getting humid um this week our plan is to actually put some screens on on our seating house so that we can actually add ventilation because once once the sun is out and it starts peaking over 10 degrees celsius in here during the day in the late afternoon it can hit 45 to 50 degrees celsius which will scorch scorch seedlings so um all in all i think this ink bird is a, a huge um, asset for anyone who has a greenhouse of any type, whether it be a small one or a large one. Um, they're magnetic, so I just stick it to my magnetic shelf. Um, depending on um, the, the other nice thing is because it's magnetic um, and because it's small, you can stick it in different pockets of your greenhouse if you only have one. I've seen people who have multiples of these and that way it actually tell them where the cold spots are in their greenhouse. So where the warmer spots are, they would want to put more tender, um, heat loving plants and the colder spots, they could put the more cold loving plants. So this, you know, for the price that it is, the size that it is, I think it's a huge asset, um, to have in any greenhouse, um, and probably like any root cellar. It just, it helps you control your space, um, from the ease of your phone, um, 
so I can check on my phone first thing in the morning and see where the temperature is at and know whether or not I will be even bringing seedlings into the seeding house on that day or not. So to access my Inkbird, I turn on my Bluetooth and my location. Once open, it will show you your current temperature and current humidity. It may show temperature from previously and just give it a moment to recalibrate and update its settings. Because this is on my phone, but it will also show you the date and time you are looking at. As you can see, there was a dip. We had a very cold sp spell there. We had a Colorado front come in and bring us winter again. This app is very easy to load and it's so nice to be able to look at the temperature readings of your greenhouse in the comfort of your own home. You can set an alert on your Inkbird. So if you don't want your greenhouse dropping down less than 10 degrees Celsius, you would set the alert to alert you at that temperature or at a certain humidity, or again, when it gets too hot or the humidity gets too high. This Inkbird is very user-friendly. I had a little bit of difficulty finding the right app for it, but once I did, it was super easy to load up. I just turned on my location and it found me. I hope that helps if you've been looking into purchasing an Inkbird. I truly believe that this is such a great little tool that should be in every gardener's toolbox. I look forward to getting more. Uh, this will be a great tool that will be that can be used in chicken coops, in rabbit hutches. This would be great to hang off of a brooder where you have young baby chicks and they need to stay warm. Like I said, I think this is a great tool that belongs in every homesteader's toolbox. Thanks so much for being here.